I was just reading an article online that a young man from Westchester University in Westchester, Pennsylvania, has come down with a case of bacterial meningitis. Now I'm going to put the link to this down below. I used to live in a town called Exton, Pennsylvania. That's spelled E-X-T-O-N. And it's the next town over to the north end of Westchester. In fact, Westchester and Exton touch each other. The university is only about six miles from where I used to live. But on September the 2nd, 2010, the Lord allowed me to make a move here to North Carolina. So now instead of being six miles away, I'm 555 miles away from the young man who was sick. I have cancer, which has to do with my lymph nodes. My chemotherapy has been doing a great job at getting rid of the cancer. But what happens is when the chemo kills off the bad lymph nodes, it also takes a couple of good ones with it, which have to come back into your body. So for a period of about five days, my white blood cell, my white blood count, instead of being too high, is going to be a little bit too low. That leaves me open to infection. So the last thing I want to do is be near somebody with bacterial meningitis. Because I would be very open to catching it. More open than the average bear. Or person. My prayers do go out for the people that I know that live in that area. Westchester was a big part of my life when I lived in Exton. When I went out evangelizing with the church, we went to Westchester. When I had jury duty, I was in Westchester. My bank at that time was in Westchester. One of the restaurants that I ate at on the way home from church was the Westchester Diner. And it was frequented by a lot of kids from Westchester University, which is where this young man is at. My son and many of my friends live within 25 miles of Westchester. So, I'm in North Carolina now, so hopefully the bacterial meningitis doesn't become a pandemic and start getting to other areas of the United States, but I'm very fortunate that I am here right now. I'm very fortunate that the Lord allowed me to make that move in 2010 because of making the move could have possibly saved my life. Now that's hindsight and foresight at the same time. But I'm happy it happened. And I'm also very happy with the hospitals down here compared to the hospitals up there. The hospitals down here are much better. 
and I only live three and a half miles from one, which is the one that you have seen me do the videos in. So I count my blessings. And if you want to read the article, hopefully it stays online for a while. I'm going to put the link down below. Thank you for listening. Bye.